Hello everyone, we're coming up to the budget in October and the grandstanding and the annual Crumb Fest has started with the political establishment trying to buy votes in advance of the forthcoming general election. Don't fall for it because it's all a ruse and it all emboldens the profits of the billionaires and the globalists rather than the interests of ordinary people. And a case in point is the argument about the minimum wage because currently the minimum wage in Ireland is €12.70 Euro per hour. Uh, over 200,000 people are on the minimum wage. A lot of people under the age of 20 aren't even paid €12.70 an hour under legislation. And now with the Low Pay Commission has said that there should be an increase in the minimum wage of €1 Euro per hour, a measly €1, Euro, up to €13.70 per hour. And already Ireland is a low wage economy. Over one in five of the workers in Ireland are on low wages, while well, the profits get richer for the billionaire class and get more and more lucrative. Uh, we've seen the disparity between CEO salaries and ordinary workers. Uh, we've seen in particular the lobby groups like ISME, the Irish Small and Medium Enterprise Association, the Irish Business Employers Confederation, OIBEC lobbying against uh, pay increases. And uh, ISME have said there's no justification for the one euro increase, which is just a, a small 8% increase on the minimum wage. Uh, there is a plan to get it to within 60% of the medium wage, uh, so-called living wage over the next number of years, but this is just absolute uh, PR antics yet again because we can uh, factor in the high cost of living, uh, sky-high accommodation costs and all these other issues as well that impact ordinary people. Uh, as I've said, the, uh, it's very important to note that if you look at the cost of living increase with inflation, it's still increasing at 2.2 percent and they're saying it's moderating but you know compared to where it was a number of years ago it's off the charts uh, between sky high food prices sky high energy bills um, and also as well the real, real, real wages according to the ESRI has dropped by nearly seven percent between 2022 and 2023 which decreases the purchasing power of ordinary people and forces more and more people into poverty also as well and decreases as I said the spending power of people. But the government's answer would be to give more energy credits and more uh, supports, which are basically a subsidy to big business to make big profits rather than go in and uh, look at, for instance, nationalizing the energy grid, uh, what they should be doing in the energy business as well, because he said privatization would give us lower prices, but uh, the opening up of the market through the European Union has led to higher prices and actually one of the highest in Europe. And if you consider the high prices in Ireland as well, we're the second most expensive country in Europe, 42% above the European average. Even France and Germany are only 10% above the European average. Uh, so it just shows you how much profiteering has been made in Irish society as well. And not to mention the mortgages as well, with interest rates increasing over the past number of years as well. And a lot of people are finished fixed interest rates now, and they'll be going on to uh, the new higher rates which would charge up to 200 to 300 euro per month on their mortgages not to mention the sky high and unaffordable rental sector where people are struggling to afford to keep a roof over their head because of extortionate rents uh, this is part of the problem in ireland where the billionaires get rich but the ordinary people are the ones who suffer because of this and this is at the same time where 10 percent of the multinationals give over um or sorry Half the multinationals in Ireland, 10 big multinationals, uh, give over 50% of the corporation tax. Companies like Apple, Pfizer and all these corporations, that leaves us wide open to international financial sh shocks. We can see that with the tech companies at the moment and all these big issues affecting the international economy. But of course, they won't talk about quantitative easing, they won't talk about the magic money tree being printed, they won't talk about the COVID lockdowns that gave the biggest transfer of wealth towards the billionaires. Uh, this won't be mentioned. And they won't talk about immigration also as well. Another excuse for using for low wages, and that's what's been pushed on the working class communities in terms of low wages. And this is a case in point. But of course, this argument and connection will never be made by the political establishment because they're more interested in upholding the status quo than dealing with the facts. And the media won't discuss this either. Uh, rather than build an economy based on the resources of the country, we should be building strong local economies, supporting local businesses in our communities up and down the country. And that's what, in part, a proper incentive to support people to stay in their communities rather than force 
a groundswell of people to emigrate from Ireland because of the housing and homeless crisis and property prices through the roof for people and notwithstanding the arguments over the so-called minimum wage to say it's going to push up inflation which is absolute nonsense. Uh, it's always the workers that are blamed for this as well. Uh, so it's very important as well as I said before where we're looking at a vision for Irish, the Irish economy and that would be in charge of our basic monetary and fiscal policy and that involves our currency which is a critical component of that. Uh, this is how you deliver a real strong proper economy for the people and by the people in the terms of a democracy we need to build as well. This is vitally important but of course the status quo will be upheld with what goes on. They'll try and throw a few crumbs over the next number of months to win votes, try and claim they're doing something when they're actually making things a lot worse for ordinary people and that's what they're doing in reality because they don't serve the interests of ordinary people, they serve the interests of the oligarchs, the billionaires, the globalists, the big corporations and the 1% in society, not ordinary people. We need to bring power back to our communities, back to our society to put the needs of ordinary people first. So thanks for the support of my video. If you like my videos, please press subscribe. Salon.